You are now watching the other side of the story. Hello, my name is Duncan Thomas, and you might know me from this little viral video titled Crazy Teacher Yells at Third Grader. You call this a science project? Tell your mother she missed her chance for an abortion eight years ago. Well, that didn't seem so crazy to me. But let me tell you my side of the story. Because every story has two sides, the wrong side and the right side. Let me show you the science project that got me terminated from Hidden Valley Elementary School. This is supposed to be a jungle diorama by Becky Collins. Now, my first problem with this project is I'm not transported. Because when I see it, I see a shoebox. And yes, I know it's a shoebox because there she left the label on it on the side. Because when I see this diorama, I see a crappy painted Box. Now, there's another problem, another huge problem on the list, and it's her little scientifically inaccurate animals. Look at this. The head fell off because I got so angry at it, I threw it in the wall. It's a science fair, but look at this little giraffe. Look at it. Isn't it cute? Cute with his head rolling off. But there's a little other problem than being headless, Becky. And that's something called Darwinism. Because with Darwinism, this giraffe would die. It would be dead. Because look at its little stubby legs, Becky. Look at them. It would not be able to eat the leaves off of the tree to feed itself. And it would not get the nutrients it needed to survive. So, your giraffe might as well be headless because it would be dead. Dead, Becky. There's something else that's a problem. And unfortunately, this animal fell off and broke when I threw it the second time at the science fair. And that's this little giraffe. Now, you can imagine it had ears, but we lost them. But, Becky, what else is the problem that it doesn't have ears? I'll tell you what. Can you look at this snout, Becky? Can you look at its trunk? Look at the girth of its fucking trunk, Becky! Look at how wide it is! Sorry, uh, was getting a little out of control there. But as I was saying, Becky, uh, that elephant wouldn't be scientifically sound because it wouldn't be able to lift its head and its weight of its trunk would drag the elephant down, grinding its face into the jungle floor, having a horrible, grueling death as it can't have access to food, water, or oxygen. But Becky, that's not the only problem I have with your little diorama, Becky. Look at this. Look at what she did. She put a fountain. A fountain in a jungle. I mean, kids are creative, I guess. And look what else she has. Look at what else she has. A little monkey and a little parrot with bows on them. I'll show you. Have you ever seen animals in the jungle with bows on them, Becky? No. You know, sorry, was uh getting a little carried away there again, Becky, and uh, I'd like to apologize. Um, but just to reiterate, uh, wild animals do not have bows, so in the future, don't put bows on your animals. Well, this is what's left of her diorama. You, you did it, Becky. You, you uh, mocked the jungle. You mocked one of the most sacred treasures on earth. Yes, you did, Becky. And I would like to congratulate you, Becky, for shitting on science. Thank you.